This is Woodville in 1975. More than one and a half thousand people live here. It's a pleasant place to live in. There are 450 homes in the borough with more going up all the time. Yes, it's a growing town and this year it's a hundred years young. Back in 1870, Woodville was known as The Junction. In 1874, town and farm sections were put up for sale. The newspaper of the day predicted that Woodville would become a great inland city in a hundred years hence. But now it's a trading town, providing services for another one and a half thousand people in the surrounding districts. This land today is well known as high productive farming country. With Forrety Peak as a backdrop, both sheep farming and dairy farming share the fertile grassland. Woodville has a reputation as a fine horse training centre. There are about 120 racehorses in training at nine stables about the town. One hundred years ago, the pioneers came and broke in this country. Now, in 1975, it's time to remember them and all who followed. It's time to celebrate Woodville's first 100 years. The 9th of March, Centennial Week celebrations began. Descendants of the early settlers and others depicted the arrival of the pioneers, and a team of oxen led the procession up from the town. Here at the race course, the parade arrived to join a crowd of one and a half thousand for a thanksgiving service. A combined group of ministers led the service from a cart in front of the grandstand. During Centennial Week, Woodville stepped back into the past with many reenactments from the good old pioneering days.
the shopkeepers came out into the street on market day. Get up. Getting better now. a crowd at old-time livestock auction. The auctioneer called for bids in the old pounds, shillings and pence currency. enjoyed the sale and nostalgic return to the days when the countryman came into town and mixed business with pleasure at the sale. Grand Parade on the morning of the final day of Centennial Week. The Bullocks led the way for 340 entries, a procession two miles long.
In the parade were 150 horses and 70 vintage cars, five bands and 120 other items making spectacular cavalcade of transport and decorated floats. transport section was well represented, covering many aspects of life from a hundred years ago to the present day. Fun and humour were part of life a hundred years ago, just as they are today. Here at the race course, the parade arrived and lined up for display in the Oval. 15,000 people crammed the grounds for this day. The crowd was treated to a continuous program of entertainment. A Hughes helicopter gives a demonstration of aerial spray. And here's one way of dropping in.
Maxman's carnival ran throughout the day. Here's a contest between a crosscut saw and a chainsaw. the old crosscut wins. In the stands and outside were more than 30 displays of historic and local interest. This display of portraits by Gottfried Lindauer, he lived a later part of his life in Woodville, was a unique collection specially gathered for the centenary. The old-time blacksmith was a popular attraction and was kept busy all week shoeing horses, making those lucky horseshoes. The Woodville Jersey Club's display, the old dairy equipment was the attraction here. growing competition was held, it had started a few months earlier. Well grown, sir. And here's the chairman of the Centenary Committee, Jan Bartley. A job well done. Well, the centennial's over and it's time to relax and relive the past week. Let's drink a toast. Here's to the second century. <laughs>